Hey there guys, welcome to another video. So I just wanted to show off this uh, laptop here real quick. So um, this was a laptop that a friend had and they wanted me to wipe it for them. Um, it did include the recovery partition for it. So I decided I wanted to see how it would look as it came out of the box. So this is a Toshiba Satellite C855. The specific one is the C855S5247. Uh, it looks like this uh, model came out in 2012 came preloaded with Windows 7 Home Premium, 64-bit, has an Intel Core i3 2370M, uh, runs at 2.4 GHz, is a dual-core processor, has Intel HD 3000 graphics, has 6 gigs of DDR3 1333 MHz RAM, and maxes out at 8 gigs of RAM, has two memory slots, and in this model, it's both they're both occupied. Uh, it comes with a 640 gig, 5400 RPM uh, ATA hard drive, has a DVD super multi-drive, has a 15.6 inch display with a resolution of 1366 by 768. So it is 720p HD, 16 by nine aspect ratio, LED backlit, does have stereo speakers, and it does include a webcam. Has a uh, Wi-Fi 802.11 B, G, and N, Bluetooth 4.0, does include a memory card reader. And uh, this one, has, it comes in mercury silver color, which I'll show you in just a moment. It is, uh, has a nice textured material on here. So the weight of this laptop is 5.4 pounds, depending on the configuration. And it does come with quite a bit of software included, which I'll show you all that in just a moment here. Um, but they do have this list here with all this software. So when I did restore this, uh, they have an interesting way to recover the partition. So you have one of two ways. You can actually make uh, recovery DVDs, which will allow you to make five. You have to make five total DVDs to recover this, this computer. Um, otherwise, you can use the recovery partition. And apparently with a lot of Toshibas, it's pretty similar. So you would turn the laptop off, before you turn it back on, you would press zero and hold that while you power it on and then keep holding zero until it beeps. And then it takes you to a recovery screen where it gives you a couple of options. So you can recover it while keeping all the uh, all your data and uh, you can recover it without your data and just have an out of box experience as it would come or you can erase the disk completely. So you have a couple of different options there. So um, let's go ahead and go through and see what is included on an out of box experience with the Toshiba C85. All right, so here we are at the desktop. So it actually looks pretty clean. Uh, we have a Toshiba custom uh, wallpaper here. At the bottom here, you can see we have Internet Explorer. We have our uh, folder right here, Windows Media Player, Google Chrome, uh, this, I believe, yeah, Norton Anti-Theft, and then we have, okay, so this is security dashboard, so my Toshiba laptop has my Norton Internet Security installed, last update 8.10.11, <laughs> so pretty old, so I have not turned on the internet on this because I wanted to see what the versions it came with are, so we know Chrome has been updated quite a bit over the past uh, eight years. So, uh, surf the web with Google Chrome using the internet is faster, safer, and easier with Google Chrome. So it's kind of interesting to see a computer with Google Chrome actually installed by default. And it does have Norton already on here. And then the version that we have on here is, so we're running 12.0.742.100 from 2011. And the current version of Google Chrome is not even what I'm actually running. It's uh, the one I have running is 86.0.4240.198. So quite a few updates in the past eight years. If you're using the standalone installer, I do have the newest version of Chrome installed here. So the version we're running now is 87.0.4280.66. So of course it's giving us an error and I think it's because of the Norton software on here. So we'll go ahead and do a quick speed test on here. So we'll go to fast.com and try that out. So every other website seems to have, have ads all over it. This will definitely not get the full speed, I don't think. So pretty low. I get 250 megabits down on my uh, router. So it's probably not gonna do very well. So we're at 10 right now. It's pretty low, 15. Yeah, not the best, not the best. So and then it's telling me to <laughs> activate my pre-installed security software. Let's not and say we did. All right, so my upload speed doesn't look bad because mine's about 12 on this speed here. So we'll try one more time just to give it another chance here, see if it does any better. It's 
it's reading about 22, 20, so still not very good, but. And uh, here is a, a newer smartphone. So I'll just show you the speed that this gets. Uh, so we're getting 15 on this. So we're gonna probably get the full, nearly the full speed on this smartphone here. So as you can see, almost the full speed on this smartphone, no problem whatsoever. And I'm also right near the router, so yeah, so you can see it should, it's almost 250. So it's getting the proper speed. And then the upload speed is, you know, not great. It's Comcast. Um, let's also try a YouTube video just to see how well it handles 720p, 1080p real quick. So it has a lot of, um, so Norton stuff, some of these antivirus programs kind of hinder everything here. So we'll take a look at my channel here. Can I spell my own channel? Let's see. Take a look at one of my most recent videos here. So, so the ad comes up fine. I love how I'm just talking about my cable internet. It comes up with something about Doxis 3.1. It's just pretty interesting. So it's on HD right now, so it's on 1080p. So it seems to be running all right. We'll go ahead and skip ahead a little bit here. Go in full screen. Not too bad there. So it still, still runs pretty well. It's still caching some of it right there. So yeah, not too bad. Let's take a look at some of the other software that's included here. Going down the list here, we do have Adobe Reader 10. We have Amazon.com Shopping. We have a desktop gadget gallery, Microsoft Office 2010, uh, probably not, yeah, so not even a paid version or anything. So this is just offering you a trial or if you've already purchased it, you can activate it. Uh, Toshiba Book Place. We have Windows Anytime Upgrade, we have Windows DVD Maker, Windows Fax and Scan, Live Mail, Live Messenger, Live Movie Maker, Live Photo Gallery, Media Center, Media Player, Windows Update, XPS Viewer, Accessories, Amazon.com, so we have Amazon MP3, Amazon Video On Demand, Amazon Online Shopping. We have under games here, we do have quite a few. So as with a lot of older computers that come with these, they come with wild tangent games. Is that the classic Minesweeper? That's the question. No, this is a totally different version of Minesweeper. So that's a Bejeweled 3, does that require internet? So this is a wild tangent game, as you can tell. You have to agree to let your life go away if you click agree on these. So maybe it's not installed until you actually click on it, which is kind of interesting. All right, so we'll let that do its thing while we continue to look in our start menu here. So we have Google Chrome. We have under Intel, we have updates. So we have the Intel MEFW recovery agent. We have maintenance. So we have our Windows maintenance options here. So back in the restore, create a system repair disk, help and support Windows remote assistance. We have Microsoft Silverlight. Net Zero, which is surprising. I don't think Net Zero exists anymore, actually. Uh, for, full version access, play as long as you want, sign in. Uh, so you only get one free session. That kind of stinks. It's kind of interesting. Interesting. Quit that and want continue. Wow, that's a very strange voice. So, okay, so this little browser is all the games that are in here, I guess. So, I'm not sure all of these are installed. So, say Plants vs. Zombies, is that? So, they're not installed right away. So, it seems if you click it once you do, it actually will uh, extract the game. But we have Norton Internet Security, so that's pretty old, but have a bunch of things in here live update, internet security, recovery tools, uninstall. Norton Anti-Theft, I've never heard of that one. We have under Startup here, Empty, and then we have Toshiba, which includes quite a few different things. So we have App Place, Book Place, Laptop Checkup, Online Backup, Security Dashboard, Media and Entertainment. Under that, we have a Disk Creator, DVD RAM, Utility, Toshiba Resolution Plus plugin for Windows Media Player, Win uh, Web Camera Application, uh, Media Controller, uh, networking connectivity, we have, so it did have Bluetooth, so we have add new connection, Bluetooth assistant, Bluetooth information exchange, Bluetooth settings, remote camera, wireless file transfer, support and recovery. And so this is where you could recover, uh, you can make those recovery disks here. Uh, HDD SSD alert, PC diagnostic tool, PC health monitor, recovery media creator, 
service station, application installer, Toshiba Assist registration and user guide. And then we have Windows Live. So we have Windows Live Mesh and Windows Live Writer. I have not heard a lot of these things. Sync your files and program settings between computers and connect to your PCs remotely. Blog like a pro with photos, videos, maps, and more. Pretty interesting there. And uh, as you can see, since we did play with one of the games, it popped a shortcut on our desktop right here. I do want to see there are other wallpapers that are included or if that's just the one that they include here. Okay, so they do have a couple of different um, themes. So we have the innovation theme, which just includes that one wallpaper. We have at play, which includes some sailboats here. The Toshiba logo right there. Let's see if we can go to the next one. We have someone playing tennis right there. We have a golf ball right next to the hole right there. And that's it for that one. We have forward thinking. That one includes leaves with water droplets. We have a sunflower in the sun. As you can see the little arrows in the, uh, in the flower petal right there. And then we have a water leaf, which is, that's a little interesting. All right, and then our last theme that they include is called outdoor. And that one we have some ducks flying away. And then we have fish and we're looking, I guess, from below the sea. And we have Toshiba leading innovation right there in the middle. So now I'm sure you're wondering just as I was, how much storage is available on this after you have all this junk installed? So you have a 640 gig drive. Out of that, it looks like you have 552 gigs free. And as it's partitioned, 581 gigs total. So uh, you have not too much taken up, I guess, by the partition, but at least you have that recovery partition available. So take a closer look here. So, yep, so 28.5 gigs used um, from the total with all the stuff installed. So, so this laptop does apparently have stereo speakers, but being that it is kind of a budget laptop, it probably doesn't have very good ones, but we're gonna go ahead and test it out and I'll give you an idea of how they're gonna sound. So uh, we'll go ahead and listen to some of this no copyright music real quick and uh, I'll turn it up and you can tell me what you guys think. Anyway guys, so this is just a quick look at this older Toshiba. So this is the Toshiba C855S5247. So again, I believe it came out in 2012. I'm not sure what the price of this was, but um, I did get the specs in the beginning. So uh, the next thing I'll be doing with this is I'm going to try and put Windows 10 on it, see how well it handles it. Um, I may take the bottom off if I can access the processor from there and give it some new thermal paste to see if that'll help uh, clean out the fans, that kind of thing. So. Uh, if I do those things, I will definitely make another video to show you how well this computer works with Windows 10. Um, the newer versions of Windows 10 are not as nice to older computers as the first versions of Windows 10. So um, I definitely noticed that the older versions, like the very first version, ran very d decently on older hardware. But the more that they've added, the more that they've changed, it kind of runs less and less well on older hardware so but we will try nevertheless and uh if i do you'll see another video from me on this laptop anyway guys so hopefully you enjoyed this look at this older laptop maybe you had one of these at some point or maybe you had a variation of the c855 if you did let me know in the comments i'd love to hear about it uh any tests you want me to try on the windows 10 uh version when i upload it on here let me know and i'll test it out uh anyway guys hope you enjoyed this quick video if you did like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video.